I've been doing the heavy lifting over on Amazon and I've uncovered some fantastic spring fashion finds that I'm going to share with you today. And I also think I've uncovered the shoe of the season. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. We may not be heading into spring here in New Zealand, but that doesn't mean I can't get excited about you guys heading into spring, right? So in honor of that, I've set myself up with my favorite flowers behind me here, which are beautiful hydrangeas. They were delivered yesterday and oh my gosh, I am loving them. Oh, and fun fact too, did you know that hydrangeas drink through their petals as well as their stalks, their stems? I didn't know that. So when these guys arrived yesterday, they were all wilted and droopy. They came with some instructions to dip the actual flowers in water because they drink through their petals. And within about two hours, they had come alive and transformed into what you can see now. Anyway, enough talk about flowers, but I have found some really cool fashion essentials over on Amazon and I thought that I'd share them with you today. Let me know if you like these sorts of videos and yeah, let me know if you are an avid Amazon shopper as well. Tell me what you think of Amazon in the comments below. Do you find it a minefield? I certainly do and that's why I've decided to do the heavy lifting for you guys today and uncover those fashion finds for you. So hopefully this video saves you time and you enjoy the pieces that I've found. Okay, the first fashion find that I think will be really amazing for spring are these tanks. Now I'm wearing one very similar today and the reason I think they will be fab for spring is that I've been living in this tank over the last couple of months here in New Zealand. I've worn it with my denim pieces, like I'm wearing it with a denim skirt today, denim shorts. It looks great, teamed back with some of my work long line maxi skirts. And I've got a couple of A-line skirts that I wear this tank to work with. So it's a really versatile piece. And again, it's just a great layering piece. You can throw a black laser over the top. If you don't like showing your arms, you can also team this with a, an oversized shirt or a, a jacket, depending on the weather, or a, a nice comfy knit as well. So I just find that these tanks are a really versatile piece. They're great for dressing up, wearing a little bit more casually, like I've been wearing mine today. So I found them here, they come in black and in white and they are a really affordable way just to give your spring wardrobe a little bit of a lift. Now, if you're not a tank kind of girl, then you may like this next layering piece, which is a camisole. Now, most of us tend to have camisoles. If you don't own one, maybe now's a time to dip your toe in this look. They are the perfect layering piece. And again, if you don't like showing your, your arms and your shoulders, you can simply cover them up, but they do become a really good base piece just to create a simple outfit. Now I've picked a very simple camisole here. Obviously you can get really lacy and fancy camisoles. Personally, that's not a look I tend to, to gravitate towards. I suppose I like my camisoles to be a little simpler and plainer and look less like lingerie, but that's just a personal preference. This one I particularly love because it is really simple and it has adjustable straps as well, which I think is, is a really important element when it comes to camisoles. They, they do need to be adjusted to fit you perfectly. I generally tend to wear a strapless bra with camisoles as well, just because I do show off my arms and shoulders and I don't like seeing a bra strap. So I find that a strapless bra is definitely the way to go when wearing a camisole. I also found these really cute little button down the front camis and I love the fact that they were simple but the button detail just gave them that little bit of extra edge. And I'm going out on a limb here and including an animal print one. Now you guys in my last video jumped on me big time because I mentioned that animal print is going out of style this year. Now what I actually meant to say is that it is not trending as hard as it has in the last 12 months. We all know that animal print is really considered a neutral 
but thank you for reminding me of that and I need to be a little bit more careful with my words sometimes in the videos but animal print is something that is a neutral I personally love it I will always have animal print in my closet but all I meant to say in that last video is that it's just not going to be featured and trending quite as hard as it had in 2020. But with that said, I thought I'll go out and find a few pieces that are animal print that I just think I would personally love and wear and that I'm thinking that you guys may actually love too. And because I feel like I need to pay my penance for speaking badly about animal prints in that last video, I've decided to go all out and I found these really gorgeous animal print oversized, slightly sort of boyfriend style v-neck tees. Now I think when it comes to a new season it's always a good time to look at some of the basics and t-shirts are real basics in our lineup and sometimes they have worn a little bit too much and we haven't really noticed that they need updating so now's a good time to have a look at some of your tees and see whether you do need to update a few of them and move a few of them out. These tees I th think are really wearable, they look comfy and but also I love the print, I think the prints give them that little bit of extra edge. I particularly love this snakeskin print as well and these boyfriend tees do come in different colours and different patterns but I thought I would go all out and celebrate some animal print just as a a kind of way to apologize for speaking badly about animal print in my last video. But I also think these tees are really cool, really wearable and perfect spring essentials. Okay, I have given tie-dye a bit of a bad rap on this channel before, but this trend is not going anywhere, so I decided to hunt out some tie-dye that I actually like, and I found these really cool sweaters. They're lightweight, so they're perfect trans-seasonal pieces, and I think I particularly like these because the tie-dye pattern is quite uniform. It's not sort of a wild, multicolored, crazy traditional tie-dye patterns. So these tops come in a couple of different colorways, they're long line, they would look great with a bit of a half tuck and again they lend themselves to the kind of lockdown lifestyle that most of us have become very accustomed to. But they're tie-dye with a little bit of a fashion edge and to me they're just giving a nod to a trend but in a probably a kind of a safe fun way. Now if you're looking for something that's a little bit more dressed up than just a basic tee or tank then you might also like these lightweight knit polo style tops. Now I've found this one which I really like. I think it would be perfect to wear with high-waisted pants and jeans. This knit I think is great. It comes in lots of different colors and I love the fact that it is just a perfect crop so essentially you have an outfit if you're teaming it with something that is a little high waisted then your outfit is done and dusted for you and as I said it just creates a look that is casual and comfy but it's just a little bit more fashion forward and it's got a little bit more edge to it than just a straight t-shirt. Now when we're talking spring fashion essentials I could not put this video out with finding some really great slip dresses for you guys. Now slip dresses I've talked about them a lot on my channel before they are a great piece to own they can be worn on their own you can team them with a sweater underneath a t-shirt underneath there are lots of different ways to wear them and they are the perfect trans seasonal piece. I've found a couple of really good options here and a few of them are plain and some really lovely modern prints as well. Nothing too crazy. Again with these pieces because they are essentials, they're basics, these are pieces that you want to stand the test of time. You want to have them in your closet for years to come. They're not necessarily trend focused pieces but they are pieces that you can pull out year after year after year. So a slip dress in a simple classic color that works for you is a really good investment. I also think that I found the perfect spring sandal. Take a look at these gorgeous espadrilles. Now they're a sandal espadrille. 
I love espadrilles. They are super comfy. They give you a little bit of height and they are really easy to wear. I've never seen sandals like this before. They remind me of a La Tribe sandal that I've been looking at and admiring from afar. But I think that these are really affordable. They'd be super comfortable, really practical. They come in three different colorways, the white, the black, the, the neutral, the natural leather look. I think the hardest decision for me will be choosing which colorway because they are all great. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these sandals. I know I'm going to buy some. I love having a little bit of height. The platform makes them super comfy and they just look cool to me. Now I couldn't help but include these shirts. I keep seeing them everywhere and personally I'm a huge fan. So I found these really gorgeous faux leather shirts. Now I just think that they would be a super handy piece to own. Look, you may not be able to wear them for the entire spring, depending on where you live, but I just think that they are a great piece because not only do they look really great worn on their own, but they would make a super shacket, sort of shirt jacket as well, just worn over a tank like the one I'm wearing today or over a camisole. So I just love the fact that these, they look cool, they would be warm, they're a great layering piece and they are something that is not going to date because a classic shirt doesn't date. So I had to include some of these gorgeous pieces that I found. I've also been looking at a lot of street style photos and have seen them being worn and there's just something about them that I really like. So I hope you guys like these faux leather style shirts as well. Let me know what you think. I've just got a thing for boucle at the moment. I've been looking at a lot of home style and home decor and I'm completely in love with boucle chairs and I saw these gorgeous boucle long line sweaters and just thought they are gorgeous. Now I love that sort of boucle texture to the fabric. It's just something a little bit modern, but again, these long line sweaters are cozy, they're comfy to wear. The long line just gives you a, a little bit of extra length. It draws your eye or the eye down your body, which tends to elongate you, whereas shorter styles tend to cut you off a little bit. So it's a really lovely layering piece that you can wear under a very basic, simple, fitted base outfit. So I think it's the texture in these that I particularly love, the lightweight fabric, and I just think again that they are a great layering piece and can be worn over lots of simple pieces that you would potentially already own. I'm a huge fan of dresses and I've been living in dresses over spring summer here in New Zealand and when I saw this beautiful ruffled shoulder dress I knew that it would be great to include in this video. I love this print and I love the floaty fabric. I think it's a really easy dress to wear and it's one that you could wear in winter with knee high boots or now if it's a little bit colder where you live but it would also work really well warm with trainers or with those beautiful espadrilles that I just showed you guys earlier. I think it's one of those dresses that is just a no-brainer. You can put it on, feel put together and wear it in lots of different ways. So this dress gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. YouTube loves it when you guys interact with my videos. So please consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked this one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.